Hello, friends. 2022 is coming to an end, and we are happy to present the final update of this year to you. Please welcome Apex Predators. It offers picturesque new locations, some long-awaited game mechanics, and of course, unique vehicles. The holidays are gonna be busy. Make yourselves comfortable, we're about to begin. For all of you War Thunder pilots, the main feature is probably the new Rank 8 for aviation, but give us a minute first. We'd like to start with some happy news for those who asked us to add external fuel tanks. We couldn't ignore your requests, although admittedly we had to keep it hush-hush for a while. No secrets now, external fuel tanks are already available on some top aircraft, and more planes will receive them in the future. Also known as drop tanks, they allow you to save your internal fuel in the early stages of a battle and jettison them to lighten the vehicle when you encounter an enemy. More features are now available for drones. With the update, you'll be able to pick a point where you spot an enemy and mark it on the map for allies. We've also improved the ground vehicle UI. The hit indicator now provides more details, making it easier for you to understand where the fire is coming from in the thick of battle. Moreover, special icons will show the type of damage that you receive. Mechanics are cool, but you're here for the new vehicles, right? Well, this time we've decided to add multiple long-awaited machines. Why go small when you can go big? Please welcome! The skies of the War Thunder battlefields embrace two iconic Gen 4 fighters and another legendary variable sweep wing multi-role aircraft, heralding rank 8 in aviation. The first is the General Dynamics F-16A Fighting Falcon, coming in multiple modifications for various in-game nations. Its outstanding turbojet engine provides a high thrust-to-weight ratio, the nose hides an advanced radar system, a Vulcan will help it tear down its enemies, assisted by conventional bombs and rockets, as well as guided air-to-air -air and air-to-surface weaponry. And here's its competitor, the Soviet MiG-29 version 913. This fighter is propelled by two turbojet engines with an impressive total thrust in afterburner mode. It will fight for air superiority with the help of its radar and optical systems that will guide its air-to-air -air missiles unique in War Thunder. Against ground targets, this MiG has an arsenal of bombs and rockets of various calibers. And the third highlight today is a European Gen 3 variable sweep wing multi-role aircraft, the Panavia Tornado, also coming in multiple modifications. You shouldn't expect it to be as agile as aerial predators since its thrust-to-weight ratio is lower, but its seven pylons can carry multiple conventional and smart bombs as well as guided air-to-air -air missiles. Ground vehicles can now be protected with a new Soviet SAM system, the Strela 10M2. This machine is armed with infrared homing guided missiles. Fire and forget. This unusual tank is the American M728 Combat Engineer Vehicle, which is based on the M60. Compared to the original MBT, it comes with additional equipment, and its main feature is the 165mm howitzer, much like on the British Centurion AVRE. Going back to the aircraft, we're greeted by this large-headed carrier-based plane, the A6E Tram Intruder. This attack aircraft can carry an enormous number of conventional bombs and rockets of various calibers, gun pods, guided air-to-air -air missiles, and, for the first time in the American tech tree, infrared guided bombs. Speaking of carrier decks, we've put a lot of effort into naval airfields and are now ready to present no less than five new aircraft carriers. Here's the American Enterprise, Lexington, and Saratoga, the British Illustrious, and the Japanese Shokaku. Moreover, we've completely reworked the voice lines for naval crews, with each nation now using its own language. You'll now hear three distinct voices. The commander giving orders, Action stations, man your posts, prepare the ship for battle! As well as officers and sailors delivering reports from their stations. Steering damage! Vessel out of control! They'll speak with varying levels of stress depending on the heat of the battle and help you experience a deeper level of immersion. That's far from all the new things we've added. 
expect to see a new location for mixed battles inspired by the landscapes of Kazakhstan. You'll need to defeat your enemies surrounded by rock haulers and factories. Now here's the familiar Poland map, although this time it's covered by a generous amount of snow. The Chinese tech tree can now boast a new top MBT with an immensely powerful gun. There's also the winter marathon vehicles that we haven't dived into yet, like the Soviet T-80 UM-2, equipped with the Drozd APS system. As usual, the full change log is available on our official website. Subscribe to our channel, play the Apex Predators update, fill your hangars with the vehicles you love, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and good luck in battle.